Hey y'all, the recipe you're gonna make today can include some goat cheese if you'd like. Dairy is often a topic of disagreement when it comes to evolutionary nutrition. From a strictly nutritional standpoint, dairy is not necessary to have in a well-rounded diet. And for some, there may even be reasons why dairy would actually be counter to achieving optimal health. For many, however, a little dairy, especially if it's goat or sheep based, and if it's every now and then, it can absolutely be part of an overall nutrient dense diet. So if dairy works for you, include the goat cheese. But if not, this recipe will still taste great without it. Let's get cooking. Start by heating some olive oil in both a small pan and a large one over medium heat. Once the oil is hot in the small pan, place the sliced bell peppers and cook them until they're blistered or charred to your liking. That'll take about five to 10 minutes. While the bell peppers are cooking, you're gonna roll the oil around the large skillet to make sure the bottom and part way up the sides of the pan are coated. This helps to make sure that the eggs release more easily after cooking. Then you're gonna pour your whisked eggs in the large skillet and let them cook until set. That also takes about five to 10 minutes. Once the bell peppers and eggs are both cooked to your liking, you're gonna turn off the heat on both pans. Then you're gonna use a spatula to release the cooked eggs from the sides and the bottom of its pan. But you're still gonna leave it in that pan. If you use the goat cheese, go ahead and place a little bit on one side of the eggs. Then you top that with the bell peppers, fold the eggs over, slide onto a plate, add a little bit of salt and pepper to your liking, hand me a fork and let's eat.